The swagman sat upon a log beside a waterhole and eyed Matilda on the ground with anguish in his soul. He drew his hand across his eyes as far across the plain, came wafted down the forest aisle as the whistle of a train. Again he looked to where she lay insensate on the clay, while slow the lengthened shadows bear the even of the day. He saw how shrunken was her form, how wrinkled, old and worn, and felt a tugging at his heart as if the strings were torn. Farewell, Matilda, you've been my partner all these years. Upon life's journey through the West with all its smiles and tears, but now, alas, the times have changed and this can never be. For where your form was welcome once, you now meet obloquy. The swagman paused and bared his head beneath the darkened sky and raised Matilda in his arms and breathed a last goodbye. The brand of Cain was on his brow, but anguish in his soul, as with a frenzied cry he cast her in the waterhole. A startled night bird gave a scream and flapped across his sight. Matilda's ghost, he gasped and fled, a madman through the night.